Hey guys, today I'm gonna to talk to you about two of my favorite hammer curl variations using resistance bands. And with the hammer curl, remember, we're gonna be using a neutral or hammer grip as opposed to the typical uh, supinated or pronated grip for bicep curls. So we're gonna be in this hammer curl position, neutral grip, and that's going to work more of the brachialis muscle, that bustle on the side of your bicep, as well as that brachioradialis in the forearm. And also, obviously, you're still gonna get plenty of bicep engagement. This style of grip will help to kinda round out those biceps and give them more of a fuller look. All you're gonna need is a single 41 inch loop style band. I'm using the clench foot plate here just because it's convenient. It's optional, you could just stand on the band, but I like the foot plate. It also kind of widens out the uh, band a little bit. But all you need is a single band. Make sure you got something heavy enough so that you can crank out, you know, 10, 15 reps. And what you're gonna do is grab, you know, somewhere just below your knees so that when you stand up, you get enough tension. And then again, remember, we're grabbing and we're getting that vertical grip. So I tuck my thumbs underneath and then making sure that you got enough tension that it's pulling you down and then you wanna pin those elbows nice and into your side so that we're not using momentum. And then just curling this thing up nice and slow with a big squeeze at the top and back down, fighting to keep that neutral grip throughout the whole exercise. And these are all about control and trying to keep momentum out of the exercise. So try not to rock so much back and forth while you're fighting through these. And also try to keep those elbows pinned to your side. I don't want your humerus bones moving frontwards to backwards. It's all about keeping those elbows pinned and pivoting at that elbow joint. <sighs> and for these, you can probably shoot for, you know, two to three sets of eight to 10 reps and always, you know, try to increase your resistance from that first set to the second set and just building that strength up as you go. All right, for my second variation, we are going to be doing some cross body style hammer curls or pinwheel curls. And that is gonna require another single 41 inch band and a low anchor point. And you can use a wall, you can use a door, anchor strap, you could just anchor it to a post or a whatever, dumbbell rack, doesn't matter as long as it's nice and low. And then to set these up, um, you're gonna grab a hold of the band with that neutral grip like before, or in what I like to do is grab a clench band handle and wrap that band handle right around the, the uh, wrap the band right around the neck of the handle there. And then that'll give you something nice and con convenient to hang on to. And with what's really good about these hammer curls is that we can step further away from the anchor point to, to give us more resistance because the further that band is stretched, the more resistance that it puts out. So that sets this exercise up perfectly for doing things like drop sets or giant sets or supersets. So I can start out here, pick a high resistance, get this thing into my side, pin that elbow in tight, focus on just contracting that bicep, squeezing out as many reps as possible. I kind of like to get that elbow pinned into my side and then that shoulder rolled forward just a little bit so that I can really focus on squeezing that bicep. And in this first position, I'll probably crank out somewhere around eight to 10 reps, get that bicep nice and pumped up. And again, I'm focusing on contracting that bicep muscle, not using anything else, but contracting that bicep muscle. And then when I burn out on that first part, I can take another step towards the wall. The resistance will drop, take a little couple second break, and then I can jump right into my second set here and really burn them out. All right, so there's a couple variations for you to try on the hammer curls. Give them a try. Let me know what you think. Drop it down in the comments below which one is your favorite. And as always, be sure to smash that like button if you found this useful. Give us a subscribe and click that little bell notification if you wanna know when we publish new content, which we do just about every week. And also, if you need any of the bands or accessories shown in this video today, all you gotta do is head over to clenchfitness.com. And thank you for watching.